Okay, I have one more panel. I have George X, Eric Baker, and Preston Stewart. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Uh, my name is George Axe, and I'm originally from the Bronx. So if uh, you still need to get those two secretaries in the same room together, please please let me know. I, I still have some people uh, back, back home. Um, despite being a board certified, <laughs> what's that? Does this count against me? Um, d despite being a board certified pediatric dentist, I'm here this afternoon to offer strong support for H.R. 1158, a bill that's on behalf of adults. More than 20 years ago, I represented the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry to the Surgeon General and to the Health Resources and Services Administration to help expand dental coverage for children. It's really gratifying sitting here today in front of this committee as I know and you know that Maryland maintains one of the finest pediatric dental coverage programs in the nation. Legislative will, in the face of tragedy a decade ago, turned Maryland into a state where no child's oral health is left behind. While I'm pleased at the improved quality of health that's offered to children through prevention and early treatment, in my new position as Director of Dentistry at Chesapeake Healthcare, which is a federally qualified health center on the eastern shore of Maryland, I'm absolutely stunned by the unmet needs of adults. Some days I wonder why I left retirement feeling satisfied with a lot of children and just happy in my lounger, but now I know why. My eyes have been reopened by what I've seen on the eastern shore. As a pediatric dentist, I never thought about adults, but I do now, and I do now on a daily basis. What I see is far worse than what I'd seen in children. My experience with children strongly suggests that health outcomes can be greatly improved in adults, and it starts right here with legislative will. Legislative will and budgeting commitment are necessary for creating a partnership to address a chronic killer in our communities. And that's unfortunately not hyperbole. Dental health, poor dental health, is a chronic killer. Underinsured adults have virtually no access to oral health care, and emergency departments are where they go for their care over and over again. What they receive is an expensive non-treatment uh, uh, of their care and a referral to nowhere. As expensive as hospital visits are, no treatment is given and they get a perpetual cycle of antibiotics and opioids, as you've heard before. Accompanying me today are two of Chesapeake Healthcare's pediatric dentistry residents. With their co-residents, they are the only dentists on staff at our regional medical center to treat emergency patients, but they only do so for children. They see the sad situation of adults over and over again. They recognize the adults who come in as the parents of the very children that they treat, but they're unable to get treatment on, on their own other than for prescription, excuse me, prescriptions. They suffer with their teeth, and then inflammation and infection take over. It worsens their cardiac care, uh, their diabetes, puts them at greater risk for stroke and uh, for dementia. I urge you to support H.R. 1158 and take this to the governor so that the adults can reap the same benefits that their children have. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Madam Chair and members of the committee. Um, my name is Eric Baker. I'm a pediatric dental resident at the Chesapeake Healthcare. Um, and uh, in my short time uh, in this, in my profession so far, I've already been, uh, I'm a witness of the, the, the need for, for dental care for adults. Um, I was actually at the Mission of Mercy in Salisbury this past weekend, and it was just, it was pretty overwhelming just to see um, the need that's there and the, I was especially moved by this one uh, adult that was younger than myself, and we had to remove many of his back teeth, and um, I, I just see it every day, um, and it's just astounding. And the Mission of Mercy definitely helped me. Um, it showed evidence that there are definitely a lot of dentists out there that would be willing to, um, to take, take part in um, accepting Medicaid coverage for adults. Um, and uh, thank you for your time. Hello, uh, 
uh, my name is uh, Preston Stewart, and I'm, I'm also a, uh, a dental resident with Chesapeake Healthcare. Thank you for, for having us, uh, Madam Chair and uh, delegates. Um, I, too, would just like to echo everything that's been said beforehand. Um, in addition, I'd, I'd like to <clears throat> uh, place uh, extra emphasis on, on the point that was made about um, the, the psychological benefit that this really can have for uh, for, for adult patients. Um, at, at Mission of Mercy also this, this last weekend, I, I had a patient who probably in his, his late 30s, uh, his, his two front teeth just completely decayed, only, only half there. And we were only able to do two teeth for him, so we did those two front teeth. Repaired them, they, they look almost like, like natural two front teeth there. And as he was leaving, he, he turned to me and, and he said, thank you, this really was a life changer. And, and I do believe that. I do believe that uh, when we are able to provide the care needed for, for our adult population to, to, to even aesthetically look kind of <laughs> natural, um, it opens them up uh, to be able to function more, more fully in society, in uh, retaining a job, in uh, being a good example to their, their children and, and to those around them. And, and for, it's for these reasons that, that I, I do strongly support this bill as well. Thank you, guys. Are there questions of this panel? Delegate Penny Melnick. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. The gentleman from the Bronx. If you're not from the South Bronx, you cannot sit with those two secretaries. 174th and Boston Road. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know the South Bronx. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming and testifying Thank today. We appreciate it, especially in light of the weather today.